Hey guys, it's me, Median, here we're going to be doing Kirby Fighters Deluxe. I'm not going to be showing off every ability in the game, I'll only be showing off the two abilities you get if you actually played Kirby Squeak Squad. And they were not actually earned Kirby Squeak Squad, so I'll be showing off them. And those are the only two I'll be showing off. Anyway, let's go to begin single player here. If you notice, I beat every other ability on very hard. So, I'm going to be showing off all of the hats and everything afterwards. So, I'll be worrying about that later. But first, we're going to be doing Bell. Actually, no, we'll be doing Beetle. I lied. Of course, we're going to be doing it on Very Hard. Let's go ahead and begin. I had no practice up for this. This will be the first time I'm attempting Very Hard with Beetle. So, let's begin. Round 1. Beam. Thank you, Kirby, for pointing out the obvious there at the bottom corner. I've had a couple of people asking me when I was actually going to be doing this, but now I am. So, there you go. I'm not very good. I haven't actually played Kirby Fighters for a while, so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be the I'm not gonna be the greatest right now. And I, of course, I've never really used never really used this guy. I've never used Beetle at all, actually. So yeah, it's gonna be a kind of a new experience for me. But either way, it seems that long range isn't doing all too well for me. But uh, dang it. Oh, I actually helped you out. Awesome. Well, what if I just do this? Oh, I won. Okay. So I guess this mashing the B button actually works quite nicely. Well, at least now I know. All right. Well, that's that's something. Now, in round two, you actually notice you get something different in Kirby Fighters. You actually have team battles, where you actually team up with a partner here, and actually battle that way. So, the first one's just one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, right, I'm there in the pink, that's right. And this, abil this little stage you see right here with the train, only appears if you actually beat the... If you actually played Kirby Squeak Squad before. Not Kirby, not Kirby Squeak Squad, I'm sorry. Kirby Ma... Kirby... Wow, how many, how many Kirby games can I actually reference their name right now? No, Kirby Triple Deluxe. There we go. Wow, I mean, I... <laughs> why not just say all the Kirby games? List all of them all at once. There we go. Can't really think right now as I'm trying to battle here. Now, normally, I do these Kirby Fighters videos post-commentary, but this time I'm going to be doing it, you know, during actual commentary for the first one. Since so the first time I'm actually covering this game, might as well actually do it quickly. Now, here you'll see a new addition as well. Uh, oh, never mind. You'll see that later. Yeah, Kirby Clear. Two cutter in round three. Here we go. Now this stage here has a little is like from Crazy Little Legs as well. Those hands can actually pop from the bottom. It helps a lot in 3D. Either way. Huh, that beat button seems very abusive. Yep, very abusive actually. Wow. Almost as abusive as Archer. Almost. In fact, all the other attacks don't really seem all too, too, all too much, except for that one. Well, that didn't work out very well for you at all. Oh, I didn't even realize I picked up a... I didn't even realize I picked up a mint leaf. But, uh, that works. I will not complain about that at all. Round 4 team battle. We have fighter versus fighter. Where my team has two fighters. And you notice that hat right there is actually the alternative fighter. And it's actually Knuckle Joe's hat. That's what we get for beating uh, the game. In order to actually unlock the hats, you only need to beat the, the game with the character once. You don't need to actually beat it on any type of difficulty. You just need to actually beat it, period. So it's not really all too crazy or anything like that. It seems like I could just stand over here and just mash B and it seems to work okay. So, uh... Actually, no, my the, my teammate seems to be actually in destroyed. And I noticed that you actually turn into, like, a little ghost ability right there. So, basically, if you actually grab on to your opponent as you're a ghost like that, you can actually, re actually revive yourself. But apparently my computer didn't know what to do crap to do, and it was avoiding the object completely. Just, I'm just gonna mash, so mash B. Seems to be working, so. And also, if you note, if you actually get up next to your, your actual ally, 
you can actually give them the same type of power-ups that you get, whether it's food or speed up or anything like that. Actually, speed ups don't actually affect it. The only things that don't affect it when you get up next to them are, uh, let's see here. There's a uh, speed up, and I, there's also, what's the last, what's the other one that doesn't actually affect it? Can't remember. Uh, that's not good, probably. Uh-oh. Alright, come on. Team up. Aw, oh, dang it. That was good. That, that was, I almost had that. Don't you dare. No, don't unite. Run. This is essentially works kind of similar to a final smash, except it's the only item in the game you actually need to team up with your remate to actually do that. And I just ended up killing myself. And we both died. Well, that was closer. That's that's something. I will be showing all the fails and everything here, too, since it's actually my first time covering this game. Like I said, normally for these Kirby Fighters videos, I just show off my post, my actual post win. But not for this time, since it's actually the first time I'm covering this game in general. Even if I fail miserably, it takes me like 15 minutes to actually beat this. Well, I'm still going to be showing off all the fails regardless. It's all just part of the fun in games, so... Yep. Yeah, it doesn't seem that the down smash really does, helps much at all against opponents. What's over here? Mint Leaf. Alright. No, don't you dare get... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, uh, that was really close. Ouch. Alright, come on, try to revive, try to revive. Dang it. Come on. Is my opponent gonna beat me? Nope. Aw, oh, poor Kirby. Kirby looks so sad as a ghost. He looks kind of like uh, Pinky, like from uh, Kirby. Or not from Kirby, <laughs> from Pac-Man. Wow, that really, that really looks a lot like Kirby. Man, so strange. wonder how that works. First block. I'm pretty sure that was not my first block. If that's so, that's pretty pathetic. I'm just gonna, just going to leave that over there. Yep. I'm just going to grab this. Wow, my uh, computer is pretty terrible, actually. Uh-oh. Nope. Well, you hit my buddy, so, but you didn't really hit me too much. It doesn't matter if you hit me or not. And I... Oh. Well, that kind of worked. Unintentionally, but it worked. Ah, come on, don't you dare. Uh-oh. Alright, perfect. Thank you, bombs. Now, if you notice, there are also ten rounds in here. So, round five is actually a boss battle. A team boss battle against Krako. Now, I haven't actually seen the alternative outfits for Beetle or Bell either, so those are going to be somewhat surprising for me. So my reactions can be the same as yours when you see it, because I have no idea how it looks. Now, one good thing here is the invincibility frame, so when you're fighting bosses, very simple. I could just pretty much just stand here and just keep on spamming this attack and do the exact same thing. Bam, there you go. And I notice as well, when you're actually attacking the bosses in this game, sometimes it actually gives you invincibility frames you're not actually supposed to have invincibility frames. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's due to like a delayed reaction sometimes to attacking, but... See, so look, like that for example, that shouldn't have been an invincibility frame, but I still managed to get invincible through it. But either way, Krakow is dead. Not very hard, but... Oh well. Yeah! Round six. Wait, oh, this is gonna be a fun, fun-filled adventure here. 
And here we have it on Halkandra. I love the, I love that they, they actually had a stage for this. Thought it was pretty awesome. Uh, let's see, are there any long range attacks I could do? Pretty sure there aren't. Fine. Maybe I could just stay over here in a corner and uh, uh that's not gonna be very fun to watch. Oh, gonna grab this. Food. All right. You stay away from me. I can essentially just do this. Uh, what the? What happened there? I fell asleep in the air. That's that's what happened. Look how easy this is. I can just like abuse this. So abusive. So, so abusive. It's ridiculous. Well, that was simple. Hooray! Round 7, team battle. Ninja and Archer. We're getting there. And if you noticed before, if it wasn't already blaringly obvious enough, when you actually give the like abilities and stuff and food to your partner, it actually says smooch on there, so they're essentially kissing. But they aren't really kissing what they're doing. They're actually pretty much just sharing the food, kind of like similar to what a bird would do. But by the f when they do that, it just looks like a kiss kind of thing. Either way, because essentially they're just regurgitating in each other's mouth, kind of similar to, like I said, a bird. But... It's, it has nothing to do with any type of uh, hidden meaning or anything there, so don't look too far into it. Oh, wait. Get, get with me, buddy. Get with me. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Buddy, come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Dang it. No, I don't want that item. No, 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 I, I did. Yep. I was doing pretty good. I started to focus on trying to get that uh, United thing. Just had to actually focus on attacking enemies. Which I was doing earlier just fine. And this is also a new stage you see here as well. This here is actually based on Dynablade stage from Kirby Superstar Ultra. Kirby Superstar Ultra specifically because the background like this wasn't actually in the original game. That was only in Superstar Ultra. So yeah. And I think that sprite is also the one from Superstar Ultra as well, not the one from Superstar. Because the one from Superstar is a little bit more, what's the word, uh, pixelated, not really as smooth in terms of the sprite texture. I, I, don't, I don't have a problem looking too far into games or anything, not at all. Anyway. Yeah. Here we have three bells. This is gonna be uh, deafening. Uh, uh. Here's also a new stage actually for this one here. This here is actually, I believe it's the butter building from the original, from uh, what is it? Butter building from Adventure, I believe it is. If it's not butter building, by all means, I'm horribly wrong. But I, I just forget what the name of this actual circle tower is. I think it's butter building though. But I could be horribly, horribly wrong. But I know in the NES version, this place here actually spun around too, just like it actually did this. It was kind of a neat effect for the old NES games, but granted, they kind of touched it up a bit to make it look more 3D in this game. But the overall original effect, honestly, had looked pretty neat as well. And you're dead. That wasn't hard. Hooray! And now the final round. Not just one DDD, but many, many of them. And if you're playing on very hard, you get the 16-bit graphic from Kirby's uh, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, the remake, rather than the actual NES game, which I th originally thought it was from. Now here, you're gonna be fighting 64 mini DDDs. Well, actually, 64 DDDs but a lot more of the smaller ones. Now, this could be kind of annoying to deal with for the fact that there are so many of them, you could easily get hit by them, but only one hit could take them out. 
And you could also attack on that way too. And also the splash damage does some good stuff to them too. It's kind of interesting actually seeing them like a skewer. Kind of actually awesome looking at it. Ah. However, you need to save your strength because this is not going to be just it by any means of the imagination. No, no. This is just the beginning. After you defeat these guys, you fight three DDDs, which are a lot stronger. I recommend for this one, try to actually focus on the one in the center. Don't focus on the orange ones, because you want to have as much help for this one as possible. And I am messing up horribly. And I died horribly as well. But you would notice, each time you lose to King DDD, the number of DDDs you're going to fight down also goes down. For example, let's take a look here. The number here is down to 47. Hey, that's actually the channel for Nickelodeon back when you had a uh, RS for TV, at least in our area. I think it was like 33 in some other cases, places I knew of. Anyway, I am messing up as well. I am not good trying, the invisible blade frames don't work out too well, they kind of actually mess you up here with Beetle in this. See the harder part sometimes with this map, I think the harder part here is trying to avoid taking damage from the actual mini fight here before you actually fight the main boss. Because honestly, the real true boss is actually very easy to predict. It's actually getting to the main boss. I think that's the problem. But you'll see when you actually get there. That, all that splash damage just looks awesome there. And then finally... All right. So now down to the three. All right, let's do it this way. Ah, I wanted to actually duck, but I couldn't do it quick enough. All right. But when it's down to this, it gets a lot easier because even though he gets a lot bigger, his predict he's actually really easy to predict. I think he's gonna jump down there. Slide kick. And then jump over here. And then he's gonna start sliding on there as well. And then eventually. He's gonna do this. So if you fly up here, Beetle's really easy because normally you can't inf you can't instantly float normally. But if you have Beetle, you can infinitely float, which makes things tremendously easier. Yep. Just slide kick when he does this, and it's really easy to dodge. And this attack's also easy to dodge as long as you jump up at the right time. Float up here. Yeah, Beetle makes this tremendously easier. And okay. And I'm gonna try doing this. Alright, that's not a bad idea. I'll just float over here. I don't want to get too close to him or do too, get too greedy because I don't want to lose any damage here. Now here you can actually just float behind him, wail on him like this. See as you can tell, DDD by himself is actually very easy to predict. As long as you actually know what you're doing and you know his pattern, he is very simple. All you have to do is actually just know his pattern to actually get to him. That's the biggest problem. I'll just float up here. Like I said, this may take a while, but really, 
there are no long distance moves that are really good for this guy, so it kind of makes it a bit harder for that very reason alone. Now, normally there are a lot more long range moves you could use with other characters, but this is not one of those times. Ah. Uh, and if you notice as well, he does a lot of damage and he does hit you. Come on, just do your little spinning attack. He gives me more time to actually hit you that way. Oh well, fine. I'll do it this way. Spin around. Nope, just gonna keep doing this again. Ah, no, I wanted to slide. I didn't want... Ugh. I tried to do the boost dash, but that didn't work. Alright, so here we are back against the three here. Maybe I can do my more damage to the actual red one this time. I didn't want to damage you. Alright. This time, I have a lot less damage to actually do against you now. Alright, come on, do your little spinny hammer thing. No, nope, you're just gonna slide? Alright, fine. Come on, spinny hammer. Spinny hammer, please. Sweet, alright. Alright. Oh, nope, not yet. You're gonna do this attack, okay. Now, if you get close to him with this attack, you'd also abuse him that way, too. But I, uh, didn't do that. Come on, spinny hammer. Nope, you're gonna do this. Okay. Alright, come on. Perfect! Alright, so that means when you rest up again, I can actually kill you and finish you off. Perfect! There you go! And Candy DD is destroyed. Took me 7 minutes and 47 seconds. Congratulations! Alright, I wonder what kind of hat I'm going to get for this one here. Nice! That, that looks pretty awesome, actually. That is pretty cool. You got the rare beetle hat as a reward for finishing the game. Finish the game with different copy abilities to, get to collect the rare outfits. Press text on the ability selection screen to use the rare beetle hat. Alright. I'm not going to be showing off the other ones yet. However, next time in Kirby Fighters will actually be over here. And doing Bell, the final ability I need to actually complete Kirby Fighters Deluxe. See you guys then.